Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Last night, I took delivery of two vehicles, a Jeep Compass and a Chrysler Town & Country minivan. And they are in front of me. The delivery happened at like 9.40, 9.50 p.m. So honestly, all I did was park them in here. I didn't look at them. I know they run and drive, the clean title vehicles. Um, and I know the minivan is very low on gas, so I have my jerry can. We're gonna run to the gas station, get some gas, fill it up. We're gonna drive both vehicles, take a look at them, see what's up, and see if they were good purchases. Here's the Jeep and the minivan right next to it. Let's see. I'm gonna put this stuff in here, like so. And we're gonna open up the hood check the fluids but by a uh, quick glance looks like this thing is cleaned up look at that tires are shiny it looks pretty clean on the outside uh, oh that's a heavy hood well engine bay unfortunately was not detailed but I see we have coolant we have windshield wiper fluid let's check the oil cap that looks fine to me. Man, outside looked really, really nice. And then inside, or the engine bay, not so much. Looks like fresh, fresh oil change. And this motor reminds me of the Chrysler Sebring I had. The whole cover, everything. It's a 2013, if you guys have not seen. I don't remember the mileage on this one. We're gonna find out shortly. There's the mileage, 105. Still started on its own, that's awesome. No lights. Let's get the AC going, because it is a really warm day. And we'll get to take this thing to the gas station. Kinda figured this way it would be uh, two birds, one stone type of deal. I get to drive the Jeep, see how well it runs, get gas for the minivan, and then drive the minivan. A little longer than a few minutes later. Check this out, guys. Two Russians on a bike. <sighs> one passenger, one with no helmet. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. If it's not you, it's gonna be someone else. Like, that's sketchy. And they have another helmet. The passenger's holding it. Anywho, we got gas. The Jeep runs really well. I mean, everything I expected it to be. It's a newer Jeep, decent miles, no rattles, it doesn't pull, no warning lights, and interior's clean. Honestly, I could uh, wipe down the engine bay area a little bit, and this thing is ready to go. All I need to do is wait for the title which could be two weeks, could be three weeks. I don't know, we'll see. But honestly, it seems like this was a very solid buy. First purchase, good purchase. Now let's get back to the lot, put some gas into the minivan, and check that one out. But that one I know is dirty. It was actually sold as a biohazard, but I saw it had a whole bunch of, you know, wrappers from food and whatnot. So I'm assuming that's what it is, they just, to be on the side of caution and safety put as biohazard but when I got it got in it yesterday I didn't smell anything funny absolutely no complaints on this little thing runs really well so I have to take that off put my tags on it let's grab the gas so the one thing about this minivan I think it's top of the line because Let's see what this says. Signature series, yeah. So, looks like it has remote start, power trunk, power doors. Let's see if they all work. Oh, twice, duh. There we go, that's awesome. So, let's actually take a look inside since we got this opened up. I mean, I smell like food and stuff in here. Wow, looks like it has at least one, no, two TVs for the back. Leather seats, yeah, look at that. Ooh, that's a, that's a chicken bone right there. Okay, that is pretty gross. Now, don't lie, I smell it now, I smell it now. 
It's been standing in the heat for a few hours, so now all the stinky smells are coming out. Um, let's actually close this up and see if I need to... Nope, I should be able to do it this way. So I'm going to fill it up a little Ah! What the heck was that? I didn't like that. What the heck was that? Okay, now let's put some gas in it. That was weird. Okay, minivan, your turn. It's still showing low on gas, so this thing was empty, empty. Okay, well, it's actually going up. Say two gallons, and that's not enough. Dang. Oh, well, looks like what? Do we have navigation here, or is it just a fancy screen? Anyways, I'll have to check, but that looks factory. Let's turn on the AC. Cold, cold. Yeah, we are low, low, low on gas. I'll probably have to do a run to the gas station on this thing and fill it up. So it looks like this is taken out. I mean, yeah, it, this is really, really filthy. This is really stinky. What is that? Why is that on? Okay. Um, the one thing I did notice is uh, this is broken. So yesterday when I was taking the car in, I had to put a screwdriver and basically turn that thing. So I'll have to get a, well, that's very easy. So I'll just have to get a new one. Do these work? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, well, let me lock up the doors here and let's go get a little bit more gas into this thing. Here we go, maiden voyage, so to speak. What does this thing have, 123,000 miles. I wanna say, if you guys have never had a minivan or ever driven a minivan, you guys are missing out. I seriously, I was like, man, minivans, like, yeah, they suck, they're ugly, blah, blah, blah. But after I had my first one, I was like, whoa, People are not are onto something with these minivans. And I've had maybe six, seven since I started this, and honestly, I love them. They are so comfortable, they are roomy. I mean, it's like a big Grand Tour car, but you know, van. Look at this one, it's running great, shifts good, it's smooth, it's quiet, plus this one is fully, fully loaded. I see a whole bunch of buttons for every single window powered. Uh, we even have door controls up here. We have this fancy screen. It looks like my files for music. We have aux. I'll have to play around, but AC is blowing cold. It's running good. We're just gonna put some more gas in it. Get yourself a minivan. <laughs> as weird as it is, man. Minivans are pretty awesome. A few moments later. Let's see what 20 bucks did. Oh, there we go, half a tank. And no more gaslight. Let's take this thing back to the lot. Uh-oh. Just left the gas station and it cut out for a split second and died on me. Let's see if it'll do it again. Like literally, I didn't have to restart the van, but it like, cut out and then started on its own and like a few lights came up and it was totally fine so that's a little weird let's see if it'll, well probably won't yep there it was what was that so something like that yeah you guys see that it's starting to bug out now but it's not like dying it just beeps and a whole bunch of yeah there it is what in the world? Interesting. And now it just died right here. So. Well, <laughs> it runs and drives. Not very good though. Oh boy. Notice something when I was getting in the car. This little thing. And some kind of security device sensor safe so i am very curious if 
this little device thinks that the van is stolen and it's trying to cut it out, like basically kill it. But maybe the fact that the van is so far away from home in the sense of I bought it in Seattle, so it's what, around 200 miles away, maybe it's not quite reaching it. Maybe the idea of it is kind of uh, very like proximity oriented and maybe it was supposed to cut out earlier but since it went on a trailer and it wasn't running now it's starting to bug out I don't know but I'll have to take a look at it I'm not really worried about it because I mean the thing sounds really really healthy like the motor sounds really really good uh, it shifted good I mean I got it up to like 45 50 miles per hour just now it runs really well I mean, it's smooth it's comfortable so it seems like it's some kind of electrical type of deal um, which I don't think is gonna be a big deal so for now, I'm gonna leave the two cars here. Um, Jeep clearly is a really, really good buy, no issues with it. I will take it home today, drive it for a little bit. Uh, minivan, we'll come back to it and I guess kind of go from there. I'll do some research with that uh, safe guard, whatever it is, um, what it does and we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. Story with the minivan is not over yet, but we are gonna take a pause right here and then resume in another video. I'm gonna try to make, I guess, shorter videos, but maybe multiple videos. Um, this is it for this one, and I'll see you guys in another one.